Hello all, this video is on test and configuration tools for Hylink 2410C human micro millimeter wave radar sensor module which works on 2.4 ISM band. The previous model is 2410S which has very low power consumption 45 microamps and works on 3.3 volt baud rate is 115200. The next model is 2420. It has micro motion detection and the same baud rate 115200. The latest version is 2410C which works on 5 volt and 80 milliamps. The baud rate is 256 uh, Okay. It is Bluetooth BLE, OTA upgrade and photosensitive functions. It works on frequency modulated continuous wave radar technology. The 2410C has UART pins, TXRX and then GPU out and then power source, power supply pins. It has inbuilt 3.3 volt regulator. So safely you can supply 5 volt. We are using MB102 power, uh, power source and uh, breadboard for powering up this model and uh, USB to TTL built on CP2102 is used to interface with PC. You can directly uh, take the power from CP2102 also. The connection is simple RX to TX, TX to RX and ground to ground. Power source is from MB102 which is 5 volt. Now let us see the tools for uh, testing and configuring the, uh, this 2410C module. The GPU out function is not working properly. We will be using your TXRX. Now let us see the first tool which is LS2410 Configurator, a web browser tool. It is browser based tool ld2410.albert.nz. The link is given in the description below. It works for 2410C model only and the browse and the browser web browser must support web serial api so we can use chrome edge or opera but firefox is not supported uh, and this is compatible with 2410b the slim model and 2410c the latest model mmw radar sensor now go to the uh, browser link and click on the blue button select port the advanced uh, display advanced uh, version is just to select the baud rate and uh, we we have connected usb to ttl and the port is allotted the port will be automatically selected on clicking the uh, uh, blue button on the top left you can see the output for stationary as well as movement target uh, the orange button will uh, blink when there is a movement and the blue button will be that is for stationary object. There is a human detection. The green bar sh shows the detection distance in centimeter. The orange bar shows the movement target. And then the blue bar shows the stationary target. For example, if there is a human movement, then you can see the orange bar. You notice the orange bar. It shows the distance in centimeter. If the object is moving close to the, the sensor, it uh, the detection distance also is uh, decreasing so this is how it works and the distance is calculated as per gate there are total nine gates zero to eight each gate is 0 0.75 meter which is 75 centimeter and at the bottom you can see the motion value as well as the rest value for each gate movement and rest both are displayed for each gate position right hand side there is option to set the maximum moving distance gate and the static distance skating uh, distance gate the motion sensitivity and rest sensitivity for each gate can be set. For example, let us set the maximum moving distance gate as 2 and then refresh the web page and connect it back. Now 2 means 75 into 2 which is 150 centimeter maximum for the gate. So within that range the object movement is detected. You can check it will be approximately no, exactly it is uh, 147, 150 centimeter it is working. You know it's a uh, orange bar. Now let us set the maximum moving distance uh, to 4. Which means 4 into 75 which is 300 centimeter. And then you can set the other gate sensitivity also. Sensitivity also and then refresh the web page and connect it back. Now you notice the uh, orange bar. It detects the movement up to maximum 300 centimeters, that is 4 gates 
uh, it works within the four gate range at the bottom you can see the hex code which is used only for the uh, while using with esp32 the next tool is ld2410 tool which you can uh, uh, download it and then uh, no installation is required double click on the ld2410 tool it should operate if you get a dll error like this then you have to install the visual studio 2010 tool for office runtime the link is given in the description below only in certain machines you go, have to install this uh, uh, visual studio tool mostly this tool will work on double clicking the 2410 exe file now you have to select the comp port and then the border rate is 256 k which is the default border rate is 2410c and then click on connect and then enable engineering mode and click on start now if there is a movement uh, human movement you can notice that the uh, uh, button on the right hand side is showing moving target and then the distance in centimeter is shown according to the gate so there are two graphs, uh, graphs for displaying moving target as well as stationary target and uh, the green line is the threshold and the blue line is for moving target and the orange or the red line is for motionless target here also you can set the moving maximum gate uh, distance suppose for example set it to 2 the gate position moving maximum going gate position is 2 and then click on config button now the configuration is written onto the memory of the module now refresh uh, disconnect and then uh, connect it back and then start now you can see the uh, distance that is a moving target distance is 2 into 75 maximum 150 centimeter so within this gate range it detects the uh, movement target uh, same way you can set the motionless uh, that is stationary target gate also everything works on gate and each gate is 75 centimeter or 0.75 meter suppose we set the movement gate to only one so the it detects the movement object within only the 75 centimeter the third tool is uh, android app there is also ios app this is only for 2410c which is hlk radar tool we have to install it from google uh, play store it is useful for configuring and monitoring the sensor after it has been fixed on the wall or ceiling over wireless bluetooth adjustment settings or view live radar data is possible it scans for radar devices and it finds the ld2410 open the ld2410 you have to select the device to go to the main screen switch to enable engineering mode to adjust configuration settings the moving target distance is shown in meters the, you can see a round button which changes color red green and purple according to the movement of the target and a graph uh, shows moving and the stationary object and next to the graph you have a set button for threshold adjustment accordingly the graph uh, changes uh, according to the movement of the target you can see the button uh, change color according to the moving and stationary object the round button the right hand side uh, right hand top you can clip, click the parameter settings at the top right corner uh, you have to click the more and then you have to click the pra parameter settings here you can set the detection range sensitivity change uh, so for example you can set the 0.2 meter to see the changes effective you have to restart to see the changes effective and then go to the uh, setting again you at the bottom you scroll down to bottom to see the board rate selection this is the only app that is a uh, you can change the board rate it is only for 2410c latest model and there is a list of board rate you can select it to 115200 for example default board rate is uh, 256k now we are changed it to 115200 now if you go to the ld2410 tool and if you try to connect with the 256k it will not connect 
you have to change the baud rate to 115200 and then click on connect it will automatically connect so this uh, bluetooth app which is very effective for 2410c model only thank you for watching